trolling eBay the other day, I came across this um, interesting little device. Um, it's something that you've probably seen in the shop uh, where it's got a little display screen uh, which has um, a pre-recorded video on which either kids walk past and they it starts to make a noise or uh, you can push a button and do it. Obviously this one is for this uh, rather well-known character uh, and uh, for this brand and for this um, well, I've got no idea what that is. Anyway, so uh, the the seller that was selling these was they was had loads of them, and they were um, about well, they're starting off at about a pound, and I won this for one pound fifty. It cost me five pound postage, but uh, I was really hoping I might be able to use the screen. So uh, to just see it working, it came with uh, this uh, um, <laughs> universal. Uh, plug wall wart on it um, and although it came up with a um, obviously foreign version of those it came with this rather lovely little death adapter so um, there you go that fits in there and that's actually the best of that best of those adapters I've ever had quite firm but uh, you could still probably kill yourself with it um, I like the box, that was worth it. Right, so let's plug that in. Alright, and then on the side of it, you've got a little volume control on and off switch and your um, power in. There's this clip on the back. Looks like there's a speaker in it and you've seen what's on the front now. Probably not going to be able to play this too long because whatever the content of it is there may be some claim to that so let's not uh, do too much on it so if i plug it in what happens nothing to begin with let's now turn it on there you go aha so an interactive app enabled superhero is what they're trying to flog so uh, that just is the must be the the standard mode. The, I can't think what it's called. The traction mode, something like that. They call it. Is it making any sound? No, not making any sound. So let's push the button. Oh, no files can play. That's a pity. Maybe I've broken it already. Let's try again. Oh dear, no files can play. Now I did have this working previously um, and I took it apart to look at it and now it's lost its files. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, anyway, let's have a look at the inside of it because then at least I won't be uh, have any problems with copyright. So let's see whether this back thing comes off first because I won't be needing that. Okay, it's quite well made. That uh, might be useful for something if I worked in a shop, maybe. It's like that clips on the edge of the shelf and then maybe you can uh, padlock it to the back. Don't know. Uh, and then there are what looks like six screws around the outside. That should come out there. Oh, so there you go. So I'm quite surprised at uh, the inside of this. It's got a really large TFT monitor in there. I assume it's TFT. A little board that houses the switch that we had. Obviously, that's the monitor controller. I think that's probably a memory chip. Might be wrong. It looks about the right size. Um, power coming in, nice diode across the power, that might be for short circuit protection, capacitor across there as well, that's nice. Um, then that goes, power goes into the main board, then your volume controls on a separate card, and then you've got that speaker, not a wonderful speaker, it looks like a Mylar speaker, I think they call them, plastic on the inside there. 
um, did sound quite good because of the enclosure, I think. So what I noticed when I took this apart was it had a mini USB interface on it. So um, taking those two screws out here, which is probably why it won't play anymore. And I got a micro USB lead and plug that in and I'm going to connect that to a computer and we'll see what happens when I do that. So here are my drives uh, on my Mac. There's uh, some drives on there anyway. Uh, so let's plug the um, playback machine into the Mac and see what happens down here. no name so we've got two files on there photo and video right photo is spider-man video mp4 so um, i'm assuming that is um just the picture that's on the screen when it starts just have a look at that see if this will record right yes so that's the screen we saw when it started so uh Let's whoops, let's get back. And then in there there's that which is a video file. So this is what I thought this is what was running before. And when I open that to play it, that is the um image that that is the film that plays when you push the button or did do before I broke it. I wanted to look at the what the format of this was and see whether I can put my own uh, file on there. Now let's just have a look at this disk um, that's on there anyway. Um, this file, the video file, is only 16 meg, so it's not that big. MPEG 4, 16 meg, and uh, the image 133k JPEG. And I could probably work out what size that was um, if I opened it anyway. If I look at the um, drive itself, um, it's saying it's a 109 meg file. So what I was hoping was, so 110 meg, so not huge. What I was thinking might be really interesting is if you can write stuff to this directory. And uh, I don't know whether you can or not. Well, let's try it by doing new folder. Right, new folder. Test. So I can write a new file to it. So it's a read and write. So it's like a little, U it is like a USB drive here. Um, let's just copy that. I wonder what happens if you copy, if you had two of those, for instance, that were the same. Uh, and let's paste it. So pasted another file. I can drag it into that test thing. So it's about 110 meg. So we could put several of those on. And whether it will play them bit by bit, I don't know. Hang on, let's stop there. Let's just rename that a little bit. But what can happen when you put um, files into a Mac is that it does a little resource file as well, which if you go into a PC, you'll see, and it does little underscores. And I reckon, uh, because I looked at this on the Mac, it will have um, overwritten or added those files to it, which is why it's not playing. But anyway... Um, that works, doesn't it? So there's a USB drive in that. And here's a very quick update about this. When I plugged this into a PC, I had indeed, um, the Mac had indeed put some little resource files on the drive as well. And that's why it wasn't playing when I turned it on. Um, and I've since uh, fiddled with it a little bit more. Uh, the file that was on there was 1280 by 720 um, and I pulled that into Final Cut and chopped it and messed about with it a little bit, outputted it as a 1024 um, size video um, and put it back on the drive, made sure so there was no uh, resource forks and here's what happened. So we saw this before the startup screen just in its attractor mode. When you push the button
So it's a bit loud, but I was able to put different uh, excerpts from my channel on here, um, as well as a little bit of the original file. And I think I have to, with this, change the man to the math, because then it makes sense to me. So if you did get one of these, uh, it's easy to put your own files on it, your own videos on it. You've not got a huge amount, but as I was saying, if you've got a kid who has to watch Dora the Explorer before they go to bed, and if they wake up in the night and they see it, you could put a little uh, video clip of it on this and uh, put this by the side of their bed and then let them push a button whenever they want to watch it. It drive everyone in the house crazy, but I think actually this is quite a good little use case for one of these uh, little devices which are ever so cheap. Um, I don't think, now this is a, a, a mini video player, I don't think I'm going to try and repurpose the screen because I like it the way it is, but uh, maybe uh, later on I could see if I could use that, maybe put a Raspberry Pi inside here and uh, use the screen. I'll probably get another one because this one uh, matches my channel really, doesn't it? As long as you change the N to an F.